Hello and welcome to this tutorial. We will be studying a Korshell model using LAMPS code. So let's get started with our example. You can follow the code lines while I am covering the explanations. This LAMPS code is written in the LAMPS input script language, which is used to set up and run molecular dynamics simulations. Here is a step-by-step -step explanation of the code. Let's talk about the initialization. The code starts with the initialization of the simulation parameters. The units command sets the units to be used in the simulation to be metal units, which means that lengths are in angstroms, energies are in electron volts, and masses are in atomic mass units. The dimension command sets the number of dimensions to three, indicating that the simulation is in three dimensions. The boundary command sets the periodic boundary conditions to be used in the simulation to be PPP, meaning that the simulation cell has periodic boundaries in all three dimensions. The atom underscore style command sets the style of the atoms to be full, indicating that each atom has a complete set of properties, including coordinates, velocities, and forces. Let's talk about the atom definition. The next section of the code defines the atoms in the system. The fixinfo command creates a new atom property called I underscore CSID, which will be used to assign the core slash shell information for each atom. The read underscore data command reads in the data file data.coreshell and assigns the core slash shell information using the I underscore CSID property. The fixinfo and null arguments are used to ensure that the core slash shell information is not overwritten during the simulation. The group command is used to create two groups of atoms, cores and shells. The cores group contains atoms of type 1 and 2, while the shells group contains atoms of type 3 and 4. The neighbor command sets up the neighbor list for the simulation, which is used to determine which atoms are interacting with each other. The 2.0 argument specifies the skin distance, which is the distance beyond the cutoff where atoms are still considered to be neighbors. The com underscore modify command is used to modify the communication settings for the simulation. The vel yes argument is used to communicate velocities between processors, which can improve the accuracy of the simulation. So let's talk about the force fields now. The next section of the code sets up the force fields for the simulation. The space underscore style command sets the style of the long-range electrostatic interactions to be calculated using the Ewald summation method with a tolerance of 1.0e6. This method is used to calculate the Coulombic interactions between charged particles that are beyond the cutoff distance. The pair underscore style command sets the style of the pairwise interactions to be calculated. The born slash cowl slash long slash CS style indicates that the interactions will be calculated using the born mayer huggins BMH, potential with long-range Columbic interactions and Korshell interactions. The 20.0 20.0 arguments specify the cutoff distances for the BMH and Columbic interactions, respectively. The A, Rho, Sigma, C, and D arguments are parameters for the BMH potential. The pair underscore coef commands set the pairwise interaction coefficients for each atom type. The first argument indicates that the coefficients apply to all atom types. The second argument indicates that the coefficients apply to interactions between any two atom types. The remaining arguments are the values of the interaction coefficients for each atom type pair. For example, the line pair underscore coef 33487.00.237680.001.050.50 sets the interaction coefficients for nana interactions. The values 487. So let's switch to the second part of the code. This section of the code sets up the equilibration run for the system. The reset underscore timestep command resets the global timestep to zero. The thermal command specifies that thermodynamic data will be output every 50 time steps. The thermal underscore style command sets the output format to include the total energy, potential energy, kinetic energy, temperature, pressure, pairwise energy, van der Waals energy, Coulomb energy, bond energy, and the norm of the force vector and maximum force vector. The in character indicates that the command continues on the next line. The compute C stamp command calculates the temperature of each chunk core or shell, based on the velocity of its atoms. This temperature is used to modify the temperature output in the thermal command. The compute thermal underscore press underscore LMP command calculates the pressure of the system using the virial theorem, and this value is used to modify the pressure output in the thermal command. 
The code also includes commented outlines that would allow output of chunk level properties using the chunk method. The compute prop command calculates the CSID property of each atom, and the compute CS underscore chunk command groups atoms into chunks based on their CSID property. The compute xtherm command calculates the temperature of each chunk, which is then outputted in the fix of a underscore chunk command. However, this section is currently disabled with the hashtag character at the beginning of each line. The thermo underscore modify command sets the output format of the temperature and pressure to be based on the c-stamp and thermo underscore press underscore LMP values calculated earlier, respectively. Let's go over the third and last part of this code. This section of the code performs the dynamic run for the system after the equilibration run. The velocity command assigns initial velocities to all atoms in the system. The create option generates a new velocity for each atom based on the specified temperature, c stamp, and the number of degrees of freedom of the atom type, 3 for core atoms and 2 for shell atoms. The DIST Gaussian option specifies that the velocity should be normally distributed. The MAMIAS option ensures that the total momentum of the system is conserved, while the ROTNO option specifies that the system should not have any net angular momentum. The bias yes option means that the initial velocities should be biased towards the final temperature. The velocity command is followed by a velocity scale command, which scales the velocities of all atoms to ensure that their temperature matches the c-stamp value calculated earlier. The system is then thermostat using the Berenson thermostat, which is implemented using the fixed thermo Berenson command. This thermostat adjusts the temperature of the system towards the specified value, 1427, using a relaxation time of 0.4 time units. The fix NVE command fixes the positions of all atoms and allows them to move freely based on the forces acting on them. The fix underscore modify command modifies the temperature output in the thermo Berenson fix to be based on the C stamp value calculated earlier. The time step command sets the global time step to 0.002 time units, and the run command performs a simulation of 500 time steps. Finally, the unfixed thermo Berenson command removes the Berenson thermostat from the system. The system is then run for an additional 1000 time steps using the run command. That's it. We just covered the Corshell Lamps code. Thanks for following this tutorial until now. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content.